okay, so I'm working for a promotions company and I'm making bookings for bands at a venue. I'm choosing the venue from a drop-down box because I use data validation on this box and it's selecting from a list of venues. But the cost of the venue, now I have to go and look up how much does the arena cost? £1,000. I have to go back here and type 1000 in. Uh, these cells should also be formatted as uh, currency. So I'm just going to make sure that's currency. But I want the spreadsheet to put that in automatically. And this is where the VLOOKUP comes in. So equals VLOOKUP. There it is. Open the brackets. The lookup value. Well, I want to look up whatever the venue name is, because I'm going to put its cost in this cell here. So I'm going to look up whatever the venue name happens to be, comma, table array. Well, this is the array or table where the value is. So the venue name comes from this table. Now, I'm going to extend this spreadsheet later. So I'm going to select all of this, including the venue charge. It's got the venue name, and in this array, the venue charge is at the end of it. Okay, so I'm going back. Yes, I haven't finished this. Okay, so I'm going back in there. So that is the array on which I want to look up this value, comma, column index number. Well, let's go back and have a look at that. In that array, that was the first column, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's in the ninth column. It looks up the value, returns the ninth column. So let's go back to bookings. It is, um, so just put, you simply need to put nine. So that value in amongst that array, the ninth column, comma, the range lookup. Now I nearly always use false for this. Um, I'm not going to go into the difference between true and false. We can go into that later. But to get an exact return, in this case, I'm going to need the word false there. Return to set this. Now, it's returning an error at the moment, but when I select a venue, it will return the value that I need from the array. Uh, and if I replicate this down, Ah, that's one problem you might have. If you replicate it down, just make sure that you fix with an absolute cell reference that array. So there's my dollar sign, there's my dollar sign. Don't let that array move as you copy down. Look out for that with your VLOOKUPs and replicating them. Okay, have a go at that.